What's good, everybody? VK here. So, I've been meaning to make this video, but I haven't yet. So, we're going to get into it now. I wanted to first off start by thanking everyone who's listened to the Stranger Labyrinth album so far. Really means the world to me that you guys would take the time to do that. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I hope that you've been taking lessons from the messages inside of the songs from my own personal experience. I wanted to get on here and just kind of talk about how the album happened because before I announced it, I hadn't even planned like when it was going to come out or what I was going to do or what songs would be on it or anything. I just decided that I finally compiled enough of my own life and experiences and song format to put them into a whole album that actually told the story of what's happened over the last year and a half of my life, year to year and a half period-ish is what all of these songs were written about, as well as like the events of the past that I was thinking about that like shifted and grew inside of my personality over the last year or so, old fucking thoughts and lessons just from life and things that have been spinning around in my mind that got put into the songs and everything, and it ultimately ended up turning into this, basically what I view it as is it's about remembering how to love, it's about remembering who you are at the core of your person without the interference of the drugs that were holding me back personally, right? It was about all of that. And I really just wanted to capture the the growth that occurred and the, the development of my own characteristics that had happened over the last year to year and a half. And that's what all of these songs were. The process of writing them was extremely organic, but not without a lot of pain. I can't even lie, like, some of these songs when I was writing them, I was like, are you gonna actually put that out and tell them all of that and say all of that shit about how you're feeling? Are you gonna be that raw and, like, that vulnerable and honest? And then, like, in my early days of writing music, I was always crazy raw, crazy honest, a lot of difficult topics about mental health and addiction and political issues and societal issues and just everything in between. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's get back to that level of rawness with this project and just say everything that you have to say about what you're experiencing in life. Tell them this whole story and watch the ascent towards the end of the album where everything comes full circle and you realize what it is, right? I don't want to spoil how the album ends and everything for anybody that's going to listen to it. So I'm not going to go at the super specifics there, but if you go listen to the album, you'll clearly see where the end of it is a whole different realm than where we had started with the album itself. But yeah, like I said, this was not without a lot of pain and thought going into it. It was very organic, like I said, with the writing process, but then there was the whole recording, there was mixing, there was finding all of the little quotes and samples and shit that I wanted to throw in that matched up with the songs and the message I was trying to portray with the album itself. Digging all of that stuff up, doing all the mixing, recording all of the vocals, trying to wrap the best that I possibly could, make sure I didn't fuck up a bunch of the words and all of that shit. All of that was a learning process because I hadn't mixed my own music for a few years. I got way deep into the alcoholism and I just stopped trying to mix my own music or even really put any of it properly out at all. So this was 
really a big learning curve when it came to mixing everything, recording everything, just doing the whole process myself. I was over here stressing myself out, guys. <laughs> I was over here about to lose my mind when I first listened to the album in its entirety. I can't even lie to you guys. There was a lot of fucking tears shed by the end of the first time listening to it because I couldn't believe that I had created it myself in the first place. I was like, this is the wildest thing you've ever made in your life. And you literally just told the story of what's happened to you emotionally and with your surroundings and experiences in the world over the last year. And you just bared it all and put it down on these sheets for these people to listen to. And I felt really vulnerable whenever I was putting these songs out. And then when I decided to put them all out at the same time as one album, I was like, Jesus you are about to let these people bear witness to the darkest corners and most tumultuous thoughts inside of your brain, everything you question, every insecurity you have, every mistake you've made, all of the growth that's came from it. You're about to just let them bear witness to every bit of that and leave it completely vulnerable and open to the interpretation of perfect strangers so to speak right and I was like fuck man this is gonna be a, a fucking tough one for me I put out so many albums since I started making my solo music a little over 10 years ago now yeah it's like a, almost 11 years now I was like you've put out so many albums saying how you feel about the world and everything I was like but nothing's ever been so emotionally deep and hit hard like this particular one does and I think it's just because it's the first stuff that I have written and had to say since getting sober from alcohol and there was so much weight inside of me that I just wanted to release and then my real life got crazy and I was like, fuck, now you got like 25 things to write about at any given moment because you're just going through all of these awakenings and periods of growth and realizations. And now you feel like you're ready to love somebody whenever the time is right and you're prepared for that to take that on. And you look at people in a different, more beautiful light now. And all of that just went into the album. And it was so personal by the time I, I listened to it the whole way through that your boy fucking melted. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit the floor and I fucking thanked God for giving me talent and the ability to write lyrics. I was like, holy fuck, what is this project? <laughs> It definitely hit me like a bag of bricks right in the face by the time I listened to it. So that's really the gist of how this process went and how it all felt for me. And I'm really grateful for those of you that have listened to it. Seriously, thank you guys. And I'm glad that you've been enjoying it. I appreciate the kind words you've said. I'm glad you enjoy the lyrics. I'm glad you enjoy the vibe of the music. I really put a lot of fucking time into this and... It took a big chunk of my life that I stressed myself the fuck out on levels that I never have when it comes to music before. I used to just throw stuff out there and be like, whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't care if not everybody fucks with it and this and that. And I still do off the cuff shit like that. Like I just dropped one today that was, it's just a song that I wrote earlier and I decided let's record this and throw it out there for them as a little in between for the album because we got another one coming soon <laughs> i'll just announce that right now we got another one coming very very soon i've written most of the songs for it already and i gotta get started on the recording process for them and everything for the next one so keep your eyes peeled for that we're gonna be getting into that too but yeah i just i i really thought this one out a lot and wanted it to be the best thing possible and and not fuck it up in any way 
I just wanted it to be super special and real to everything that I've been experiencing and going through. And that's exactly what I managed to give you guys. And I'm really happy that those of you who have listened, have enjoyed it. I appreciate your kind words. I appreciate all the support on the channel that you have shown. You guys have changed my life in ways that I can't even put into proper words. So I put them into songs. <laughs> Listen to some of the songs and you'll understand how it all really feels to me. I appreciate you guys so much. It really fucking means the world to me to be able to do this with you and to be able to break music down, make my own music, inspire you guys with mental health and addiction content, everything in between. It's all so amazing and it's thanks to you guys. You guys built this. It was you guys. I'm just here as the spokesperson that... Says all the crazy shit you guys love to listen to. <laughs> I love you guys. Seriously. I really love you guys a lot. Thank you for everything. We're going to get out of here. I just wanted to make this real quick for you guys. I appreciate all the support. Go enjoy the album. Tell a friend. Tell your family. Make your dogs listen to it. Make your cats listen to it. Everybody can listen. <laughs> Every creature can listen. Go play it for the trees. They like music too. I fucking love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. Seriously. Y'all have a blessed one. We out of here. Peace.